There is a floating chat window on every roadmap where you can ask AI any question that you may have about the different topics of the roadmap or the roadmap in general. Let's say that I'm learning about Go and I'm confused about the nomadic types. I can open up the chat window and say there are many different nomadic data types. Which one should I pick? Now AI knows about my progress on the roadmap. It knows about all the other roadmaps we have. It also has a good knowledge of all the topics on different roadmaps. Now in this case, this was a basic question about the Go nomadic data types. Int is the default integer type. It is also giving me the explanation of all the other data types and it is giving me a table with the sizes and everything for each data type. And lastly, we have a summary of which data type to pick in what case. Now one more thing it does is also tries to look at your question and the roadmap and then tries to see which roadmap nodes cover this topic of yours. Now in this case this was our question about nomadic data types and we have these nodes covering the nomadic types so it is giving me these uh, buttons here. I can click any of the nodes here and I'll get a brief summary of the topic here and also I will be getting some external links where you can go and learn more about this topic in depth. Now one more thing AI does is it saves your chats in the history. So if I click this button, all my chats are saved here. I can search for my previous chats, look at all my messages, look at the AI replies and the whole conversation. For example, let's say that I was, I was talking about buffered versus unbuffered channels. I can search that here, open up the chat, look at my messages and so on. Now the last thing we have is the personalization. You can click this button to open up the personalization window where you can tell AI more about yourself, about your experience and, uh, and the goals you have from this roadmap. Now in this case, I gave it this information and I said that I'm a Node.js developer. So in your examples, compare it with Node.js or JavaScript. Now if I asked it any question, let's say, what are Go routines? Now I told it that I'm a JavaScript developer. So in the examples, it is going to compare it with JavaScript. So see here, it is explaining what the Go routines are. It is telling the differences between Go and Node.js in, in Go routines and promises and giving examples and so on.